I'm Associate Professor Jenna Hartel, and I teach and conduct research at the Faculty of Information at the University of Toronto. And I've been at the iSchool for 10 years. I uh, teach in the area of library and information science and conduct research on the nature of information in everyday life. I've always felt that we don't have an easy to understand and compelling definition for our beloved central concept of information. Many of the definitions sound like riddles or difficult philosophical statements and so I decided or I thought let's take an entirely different approach to this question of what is information and let's draw from the arts. So the I-Square research program is based upon the draw and write technique, and it's a data gathering method in which we ask people to draw a concept. And in the I-Square research program, we use a small square of white paper and a black pen, and we ask people to draw a response to the question, what is information? And it usually happens in a classroom setting, and people have seven minutes to draw an answer. They draw their picture on what we call the front side, and then on the reverse side, they're asked to elaborate on their drawing in words. So if we need help in understanding the picture on the front side, we can refer to the description on the back side. And we also capture some demographic information about the participants on the back side, like um, their gender and their age. Some people consider drawing to be a universal language. There are several thousand um, linguistic languages around the world that have different words for many different concepts. But when you're, you ask people to draw something, there's much more similarity and consistency in the responses that you get. So again, drawing um, in ways is a more universal medium to understand a concept. Well, the first interesting finding was that there are hundreds of different ways to draw information. You know, if we were doing research on a concept like happiness, I think we might get 75% um, uh, smiley faces. But uh, with the concept of information, really, we have seen such a wide range of responses from people drawing patterns to invoking nature, um, to geometrical shapes and symbols, and uh, to people and animals as well. So there's just been an incredible diversity of responses to the question, what is information uh, as a drawing? Uh, there are other dimensions of information that have never been mentioned to this point in the research literature. Like all of our definitions of information fail to mention its aesthetic properties. And yet so many of the I squares present something beautiful or charming where you're really uh, moved to appreciate um, the, the, the beauty of information. And also, uh, all of our definitions of information made of words uh, don't mention uh, emotions or affect or how information may feel. And you can look at the I-squares and see a whole range uh, of emotions. And uh, that brings a new perspective to our understanding of the nature of information. Well, we've, we've collected over 3,000 I-squares, as I said, and we've done a series of different um, kinds of analysis on them. And one of the projects was using visual metaphor analysis. So we know that you can use uh, text and words to create metaphors, but it's also possible to have uh, metaphors made of images. And a, a good percentage of the I-square drawings from the 3,000, maybe 15 to 20 percent, actually use visual metaphors. There were probably 15 different common metaphors um, that came up. And the uh, most prevalent one was uh, a drawing of the earth. So it seems that many people have a uh, universal or a global conception of information. 
we also saw the metaphor of the tree appearing again and again. And the tree has been used in many different cultures, um, from Christianity to different um, Native American and Native Canadian cultures, uh, to represent uh, knowledge uh, or the universe. Uh, so we did see a lot of trees. Uh, we also saw um, the light bulb going back to uh, Thomas Edison's Eureka moment, uh, which is rep represented as a light bulb. And maybe it's that moment of um, invention that is uh, captured in the light bulb metaphor. Uh, another common metaphor was the eye and vision and the ability to see things. Well, uh, the, the most common response is, uh, wow, uh, I've never seen anything like this. So from students to academics to professionals, we're all accustomed to seeing uh, research uh, and uh, theory uh, developed through words. And when people stand in front of an array of i squared drawings and feel themselves getting interested and curious, uh, and educated about the nature of information, uh, they, there's usually just a feeling of surprise that that's coming through uh, pictures and images. And then the next most common reaction is, wow, I'd like to use this technique to study something else. And so other researchers have since gone off and taken the draw and write method and what we call the i square protocol and done studies of uh, what is the meaning of compliance, uh, what is the meaning of uh, group work. People have used the i square protocol to study digital libraries. And I do have a colleague in Portugal who is uh, using it to study uh, happiness. So that's another common response is, uh, how else can we uh, extend this very novel method?